Hey guys. So I get a lot of questions regarding my shaders and what program I use and what shader I use. So I thought today we would go in and I could show you guys how to install Reshade and I'll show you where to get the shader that I have and how to install that in your game. We'll just start by installing the program itself. I did uninstall my Reshade just so I could do this tutorial for you guys. So this hopefully will go exactly as it's supposed to. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to Google and search up reshade and it should just be this first link here reshade.me i will also link it in the description if you want to just grab it there we'll go up to the site and we'll hit the download button and this should tell you the most recent download just click the top one i'm not sure about full add-on support so i just I honestly just clicked the top one and it seems to work fine for me, but you'll get a little download link here. And if not, you can just come over here to your downloads folder and you're this PC and it'll be there. We'll just hit that. And this little screen pops up. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna search for your game. The easiest way to do this is to take your Sims 4, here's mine here, right click on it and hit the open file location. Now this is going to take you directly to where the Sims is located and honestly just copy this and hit browse and then just paste it here. Make sure you hit on the application and then open that and that will put this directly to your Sims game. Hit next, then you're going to want to select the API that's rendering, which the Sims 4, it would be this Microsoft Direct X9. So you just wanna make sure that that's selected and not any of the other options. And hit next, select a preset to install. So now this is where we get to downloading the presets. This is the preset that I use, Brown Sugar by Elena. If you want to use this one, just make sure you hit that download. It'll be a SIM file share. Just hit the big download button. It'll say that this file can be harmful to your computer. It won't be. So you can just go ahead and hit the keep option. It'll always say that anytime that you're trying to download a preset. So now we come back over to our little thing here and hit select preset to install. We can go to our downloads folder and hit our newly downloaded preset. There's that there. Hit next. And I always just check everything. So I have all the different types of packages installed for all different types of presets. And then just make sure you hit next. That'll do its little downloading processing thing. And when it is done, it'll give you the screen saying that Reshade was successfully installed. You'll just hit finish and then we'll check it in game. But I also want to show you if you want to install more presets than just that one, click on your Sims game again and open that file location. You'll hit this G shade presets, hit custom, and then you should have all your presets here. Um, I have more than just that one installed because I do use other presets, but that's where those would be located. So now we can start up our game and see if that works. When you start up your game, you should get this little notification at the top saying that Reshade has been installed. It's compiling the effects, but if you get this little notification here at the top, you are good to go. If not, you might want to go back and try and do it all over again, but you should always get this little thing at the top here and then you are all good to go. I hope this was helpful to anybody who needs it. If it was, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out the channel and I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye.